Good morning, everyone. With all this anti-Semitism and attacks on Jews, I was thinking about my personal experiences. And I was a victim of anti-Semitism when I was a child. I was a child, about 12 years old. I was walking to synagogue in Brooklyn, in Borough Park, just walking down the street when two thugs started crossing the street and coming towards me. I didn't think anything of it until they passed by me and one of them grabbed me by the shirt, pinned me against the car and pulled his fist back and swung it in my face, bruising my ear and cutting my chin with a powerful punch to my face. I carried that memory from my childhood. And more recently, about a number of years ago, I was coming out of shul here in Palm Beach and this truck came driving by the front of the synagogue. When they saw me coming out of the synagogue with my someone yelled out, Hail Hitler! It was the first time that I've ever experienced anti-Semitism here in Palm Beach. But then something very interesting happened. That very same night, after someone called out from the truck those profane anti-Semitic words, I took my kids to 7-Eleven to get a Slurpee. And when I was there, this man came up to me and said, are you Jewish? Obviously, you saw my kippah, my tzitzit. I said, yes. And I was a little nervous because I had just had that experience an hour earlier. And the guy says to me, I love the Jewish people. And then he looked at me in the eyes with complete sincerity and said, I would die for the Jewish people. The Jewish people have many enemies, but thank God we also have many friends. In this week's Torah portion, the Torah commands the Jewish people that when they were in the desert and there were enemies coming to attack them, the Torah says, you should blast the trumpets to be remembered, to be awakened, to galvanize and to pray and to unite before God. But then the very next verse says, and on the days of your rejoicing, you should also blast the shofar. And the rabbis ask, why is it that you blow the same shofar in times of war as in times of peace and joy. The rabbis give a very profound answer. It's human nature that in times of war, when there's an enemy attacking, we all awaken, we blast the shofar, we get motivated and mobilized to do something. As we've seen in the past few weeks, when Israel was under attack, and with anti-Semitism around the country and around the world, Jews held rallies and protests and waved their banner of the Israeli flag and showed they're proud to be Jewish. But what happens when there is no attack? What happens when we are not under attack, when we're in times of peace and times of joy? Unfortunately, we become complacent. We let down our God. We forget to stand tall and proud as Jews. And unfortunately, that is the beginning of our assimilation and our downfall as a Jewish people. The Torah is teaching us, don't just blast the trumpets in times of war, but in times of peace and joy, remember to celebrate, embrace, practice your Judaism, stand as a proud Jew, not just when you're under attack, but even in times of peace. There's a story told about the sun and the wind having a debate who was stronger. And the wind said, I'm stronger, watch. And he pointed to a farmer wearing a jacket in his field. He said, I, I could get him to take his jacket off quicker than you can. And the wind started to blow stronger and stronger winds trying to get the man's jacket off but every time the wind blew stronger the man just held on and clung to his jacket with more ferocity and more commitment to keep his jacket on but then the sun said let me try and the sun stepped out and began to shine 70 degrees 80 degrees 95 degrees at that point the man just took his jacket off and dropped it on the ground and this is a parable in the times of the winds of war, winds of terrorism, winds of persecution, Jews have always held on and shown a greater commitment to adhere, to preserve, to maintain, to transmit their Jewish values and heritage. Unfortunately, in the times of sunshine, when we live in the land of the free as Americans and we have every opportunity to live as proud Jews, we often just enjoy the sunshine and drop our Jewish garb, our Jewish observances and therefore, in a time like this, that we've just gone through an 11-day war and we're experiencing so much anti-Semitism, let us remember that as Jews, we can never afford to be complacent, 
We always have to be active, just like in our personal lives. We cannot only muster the strength and the courage to overcome the challenging moments, but the greatest challenge of life, perhaps, is that even in times of tranquility and peace, to maintain the same level of devotion, of enthusiasm, of passion, of commitment to success and to maintaining our identity as proud Jews.